Hello everyone, welcome to Adventures in Gold Rush, day four of our Austria prospecting adventure. Today, we are at the, the name's right here, and uh, we're gonna do some prospecting for some gold. There are parking spots up there, parking spots way up there when you go up the hill. But oddly enough, when I was coming here, I saw this little turn off to the right. There's no signs that say no parking anywhere. And down there, I parked. So that's pretty cool. Little parking spot there saves that little walk up that hill right there. And uh, this is the main river here the Rarus that runs into the Salzach. So I'm gonna walk with Dio down through here and see what we can uh, find us a spot to be able to get into the water that's before the power plant because there's a power plant there and flood warnings after it. So it makes me kinda err, uh, even though there is a lot of black sand there. All right, let's go check it out. All right, everybody, just so you guys know, it's a safety thing here, caution flood waves. Right there's a power plant back there that takes uh, from up on the side come pipes and they make power from it. And I guess when they open them up, it can flood here really fast. So, so much black sand down there. Look at lines of black sand. So I do understand why they say the ground should be really good here, uh, but not sure about those flood waves there be nice to try to get up a little bit. So I'm gonna try to find a parking spot first, get Dio. We're gonna walk down that trail right there. See if we can find a spot on the other side of that to go. And if we find a spot, we'll walk back and get our stuff. So yeah, go find a parking spot first. There's a parking spot way up yonder, but yeah, I think they're all about the same distance. So here it is. Look at all that black sand down yonder. Whoa. So I'm really, really curious because the ground's supposed to be really good here. And right there behind here is where it runs into the uh, Rara. Car's coming. So yeah, damn exciting stuff around here. So I'm really curious. We get down to that damn water down yonder, find us some gold, man. Shit. <gasps> we need a place with easy access so we can get in and out with no problems. And that does not look like an easy in and out access there. All right, we're gonna continue looking for an easy in and out access here and get back to you guys once we get a little further up. Where does that path go, G? Don't we want to know? Could that be where some gold people go? Or is it way down to the water? Look at that. Oh, shit. It is a way down to the water, but Oh, look at that. Cool waterfall right there. Just 
jacket down there. All right, that was interesting. You can get to the water down there. You could dig on this side here. All right, so we're gonna continue and go that other path and see where that takes us. Boy, I'm out of breath. Woo. We took the other direction from where we just were and it goes up, 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 up. So I think that's out of the question. Yeah. So we're gonna get back down and uh, try to regroup and think about our plan here. All right, over there, we were just there. Here's the bridge we first crossed. And when we go left, looks like there's a little street right here that could go down to the water. Not sure. That would be awesome. Because then there we could go pan for gold. So let's go check and see if that road leads us to where we want to go. Or if it's just another disappointment here in Austria. Oh my goodness. Arr. So it's looking and sounding good so far. We'll get down here to the end of this road and let you guys see what we got. Alrighty, hello everyone. So, we have found our way down a little path here, down that road, and around that corner is where it runs into it and then it flows here, this big inside curve right here. And this is the end of an inside curve with heavy stones. Looks like a lot of black sand over there. So, we're gonna go get our equipment. We're gonna come right back down here and we're gonna check for some gold because the way those stones are also laid out in a row there looks kind of fishy like someone was here probably hunting for gold. And over there, it looks like they already built us a place for our sluice. So we're gonna go get our sluice, get our butts over here and get to digging metal. Looking good. Let's go get our stuff and get our butts back over here. We found a place and look at that. Someone's been here hunting gold. They dug out all right there. Look at the lines of black sand with metal over there. See it up there? Looks like someone dug out behind there too. So yeah, excited to get to testing here and try to find me a spot to dig up. Looks like plenty of areas where water's not dug, but definitely here it was dug up. And they built this up already. Very nice of them, because they have a perfect place for my sluice over there. Ooh, need to tilt it a little bit that way. But, ba 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 bam Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get some buckets made. Let's do some checks here and see how much gold we can find. I just moved a bunch of rocks from right here behind there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a test bucket right here behind this big stone. And then I'm gonna go over here where it looks really, really interesting. And as you guys can see, metal, metal. So this area right here looks very interesting too. Not sure what's been dug out yet. So I gotta prospect a couple of places and check them out and see where I can find that yellow. All right, I'm gonna get these buckets made and I'll get back to you guys. All right, everyone, I am back. So over here, the ground was really soft over there and I dug deep. There behind the rock was really soft. I dug in here and I had that one piece of gold over there, that was it. But I dug over there, where I think no one's dug, and boom, 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 boom. So, that's gonna be my place to dig. The furthest away, of course, from the sluice. Alrighty, so, get two more buckets made, and see what it looks like when I get those buckets done, but it is looking really nice over there. And big, big pieces. Yeah, this is the place. This is right where I'm at, guys. If you come here, this is the place to go, okay? And I'll be back here with Bjorn. This is definitely gonna be the place where we're gonna come and dig. Look at that dog over there, getting what little bit of sun he can, tanning away. 
So, a lot of people say, why do you show some episodes where you find nothing? Well, because you need to keep it real. You don't always find something when you're prospecting, but never give up. Yesterday we tested a gold wash place where you have to pay 15 euros with your own sluice and five euros for freaking parking. Here, we parked for free. I'll show you guys exactly where I parked. And this is why you don't give up. Look at all that yellow in there. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. That means there's yellow down there too. When there's that much yellow up here, Woo, we found us a good place. So, take my buckets down here, show you guys. Cause there, someone already dug out behind that stone. I found one big flake still, but over here is where I'm finding all the gold. Yeah, right here. I'm digging down between all these big rocks right here. I plan on probably digging all this out right here too as well. But I'm gonna go a little bit deeper right now, but I'm running into some really big rocks. But this is a lesson, people. Never give up. Prospecting's not always easy. So we're digging right now at the end of the curb and having really, really good gold, people. And there's a lot of big stones to dig behind here. But as you can tell, it looks like a lot of people dug out here already. So other people know about this place. But that doesn't mean there's not good gold still here. That dog, I tell you, that dog. I'm gonna get some more buckets, man. I ain't even been doing but an hour and I already got more gold than I had yesterday. So let's keep it rolling, baby. Oh.
head back over there and uh, continue around that one stone. All right, guys, I should have enough time for one more bucket, and it'll be four hours, and then we're gonna clean out the sluice and pan it, see how much gold we have in four hours. Tomorrow morning, I leave and go ahead to Italy. Here's a good place to dig with Garen, so my mission is accomplished of what I wanted to do. Got it done faster, actually, than I thought I would, so. All right. So, hello everyone. Today is the fourth day and the last day here. Found a place. Started off really good and then the gold got hard to get again. And this is what she looks like. Kind of hard to see if it's going to focus, but there it is. I would say that's about double what I got yesterday. All right, here we go. All tarred out to zero. Here's the Klitsch Klum gold. Clean. And 0. 0.20. So I did better at the Klitsch Klum than I did at the Gold Wash place. I went up to 0 0.21. We're just going to call it 0 0.20. Alrighty, there she is. Austria Gold, which is nice. And I have a place that I want to go with Bjorn when we come back here. Uh, this prospect way up in the mountains past where that gold washing camp was uh, higher up try to figure out where it's coming from that should be a cool day hopefully we're successful and, and on the other day we're gonna go back to this Kitzlock climb because I think at least we can get some good gold there if we work too well thank you guys very much for watching as you can tell I'm a little tired tomorrow morning at 7 in the morning we're gonna start eight and a half hour drive with stops, nine and a half hour drive to our other camp. We gotta set up camp when we get there. And we're gonna be back in Italy. I'm gonna spend a couple of days at the Nugget Zone where I'm going to be snorkeling for some nuggets and pickers and anything that's there, I'll take it. And then I'm gonna head back to the place where I'd finally figured out on my last day how to get a gram a day. I'm gonna go down further to another curve and uh, see if the same method works there so it should be very interesting and then I'm gonna get four days in five days six days trying to see how much yellow I can get thank you guys for watching make sure you hit the subscribe button it's much appreciated uh, we're also on Facebook Instagram but mainly YouTube so if you want to be notified of upcoming episodes, hit the bell icon right there. So that's it for this episode. I'll see you next time.